Blazing Hit Radio. Good morning, you guys. Now with more us. You rock. Better music, less commercials, more Larry and Kathy. I just love you both. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Um, pressing issue. Uh, Kathy fainted again. Yeah, again. No. Uh, totally. Our uh, producer Bolte's uh, sitting here with us. Wigs running a second behind. Yeah. Um, we had the honor uh-huh. of picking up the girls from school uh, yesterday. Oh. And we try to do, see the girls and then try to do Kathy a favor, like by taking up some time so she can be like, oh, I could lay in my bed. Right. Or watch a show. Which is heaven to a mom. Right, right. So we go pick up the girls. And this was your first time going without me to the school. So right. I was really proud. And and Avery had no idea you were coming to get her. Right, right. It, it was, was cool. It was the coolest feeling in the whole world because, well, first of all, you gave us this cool little list right. of instructions. And so it's very hard to pick up a kid. You can't just go in and get one. There's like very levels of security and sign ins right. and <laughs> looking at your Put ID. Put in this code, mm-hmm. then you got to sign them in, then you got to have a code to get back out. So you had taken us there recently. So we did the run through and you yeah. showed us where stuff was. So we get in there and the ladies are already laughing at us because we already messed up a rule. And <laughs> a rule I wasn't aware of. Right. <laughs> so then they look at our IDs and they're laughing. And so they're like, okay. I was like, well, we're here to get the girls, and here's our list. And they go, oh, you have a list. <laughs> so they grab the list, and they start reading it, and they're looking at each other laughing. And I was like, she's like, okay, so what do you want to do first on your list? <laughs> and I go, I go, I think we should probably go get the lunch pails. I was like, I know that's a thing. And, um, you know, it's going to be, I know they're in two separate refrigerators, and now we got to go look for their lunch pails. Yeah. And she goes, okay, do you know where that is? And I go, that way? And she goes, Let's put, go get Avery first on the list because <laughs> yeah. Avery knows where the lunch pails are. Right, right, right. So then I go, she, I was like, oh, cool. We'll go get Avery. And I started walking the wrong way. She's like, Avery's that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. what I meant. Of course, we're going to get Avery that way. Right. So we go she's down the end of the hall and Avery's sitting in the circle and they're all talking to the, or listening to the teacher. And so Avery turns around and totally looks at us and gets so excited. Yeah. It's like the best feeling in the whole world. And she came and ran and totally hugged me first. So like I copped the first hug. Right. And but you know, she's just as excited to see Uncle Chris. Yes. Um, but it's kind of like that first hug. It's like, who is she gonna pick? <laughs> oh Jesus. Um, and it's also that feeling of when you get home and your dog right. is happy, like it's just oh, unconditional love. I'm happy it's to amazing. see you. Yeah. And, and they run to you and then you pick them up. Okay, so then we go down. Uh, you said she even distracted her classmates because she was so excited well, to she see went, you. Ah! She started jumping up and down <laughs> like she had won something. Um, so then we got her stuff. Yeah. Went to her cubby. And then we're like, hey, can you take us to the lunch pails? She took us to the lunch pails. And cool. Dig in the fridge. And then we go to get Gia. Uh-huh. And same thing happens. She's sitting in a little circle looking at her teacher. And she looks up at us. Boom! Pitch stands up and totally makes a beeline for me and gives me a big <laughs> hug and I like Chris missed out on you know two big hugs. Yeah, I know, but he still got hugs right after. Yeah, it's that running hug that you get. So then it's um, not a competition. I know, I know. <laughs> so then um, you know it's like we get in the car and you know we have some issues with seatbelts and I know the ladies are laughing at us in the because like, nobody takes oh, yeah. this long to leave oh no they were staring at right, you the right. whole time and we kept like we couldn't get uh, Avery's seatbelt because there's a thing but then it's next to it is right. where you lock it in yeah so we're like oh my god we can't do this and it took us like 10 minutes <laughs> I know they were laughing at us so then we get them seatbelted in and I'm just assuming for the most part Chris is technically literate yeah and so I was like well Kathy says there's a chick-fil-a that's not far yeah right right and so he's like well, he starts taking us in some weird way and seems kind of far i was like maybe you picked the wrong one so then we start heading back to you and we take the wrong turn and the next thing you know there's like four schools in front of us <laughs> with a hundred parents trying to pick up their oh kids my god. it's mayhem there's stop signs there's it's insanity and we're like <laughs> oh my god to the point where I'm trying to entertain the girls. I'm all, hey, let's sing a song for Moana. And I start the video on my phone, and I'm the only one singing at some point. And I'm all, na, 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 na. And I look behind me, and both girls are all, <laughs> Avery's literally slumped over snoring. I was yeah. like, whoa, this is insane. And so it took us, oh, we went and got Chick-fil-A. It took us forever to get back to the house. Had explained to the girls that, yes, they give to anti-gay causes, but we're, it's the delicious chicken that the only thing you you guys will eat exactly so um then we i come in the door 
And then all of a sudden, Kathy's laying flat on her back. <laughs> on the bottom of the stairs. And she's like, I fainted again. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> um, so now <laughs> we're probably dealing with something that's like, you know, it's like um, that thing that um, Nicole Kidman had in... Moulin Rouge, where you're going to start coughing blood into a oh, hanky. No. no, I don't know. Right, what. no, for real. No, Larry helps me up finally. Bolty and, has and consumption. And Larry goes, could be a brain tumor. Well, and I was like, oh, thanks. No, I don't know. I'm I'm like, I start, or no, you just said you have a tumor. No, you no, didn't no. say brain tumor. You got the tumor. Yeah. No, I, I just went straight to WebMD and said, fainted twice. They said death. <laughs> death eminent. Right. All right. the comments were death, 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 death. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Do you think that... All and I you kind of is... hurt your foot as you were oh, coming I down. Oh, I killed my foot. And I've, I think what happened was you fainted on the stairs and then you didn't make your feet onto the bottom Yeah, floor, obviously. <laughs> and you then tumbled. Yeah. But see, I've also gone downstairs in the dark and like misjudged that last step. Oh, yeah. You, that's a bitch. You take two when it was like one. You thought it was one. Right. And so maybe that's what happened. Like, uh, no, I don't in know. In a blacked out way. <laughs> in a blacked out way. <laughs> All I know is I was resting. I heard the garage door get up, so I immediately got out of bed. I still had all my clothes on because I was just laying there. Right, and I saw, I hate to say this, I'm not trying to put you on blast, I saw an African-American man leaving the back door. <laughs> and so when you said blackout, yeah. I was like, oh, you had a blackout. Oh, that makes sense. You had a black on. And there he goes. A black in. Uh-huh. A black around. <laughs> and a blackout. <laughs> <laughs> there he went. So I was just like on my phone. I started coming down the stairs. And all of a sudden, I turned the corner to come down the second set of stairs. And, and I blacked out again. I didn't feel dizzy or anything leading up to this one. That's what was crazy. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden, I was at the bottom of the stairs on the floor going. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to say that just for <sighs> safety's sake, Chris and I will now take custody of the girls. We don't know when you're going to faint next. <laughs> right? Um, I don't, yeah, so I don't. Uh, you I'm go going to the, going the doctor. doctor today. Man. Yeah. Yeah, because it could be like, um, I think it could be the low blood sugar thing or whatever. Now it's something more, because yesterday, trust me, I got them sugars back up. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. I had no Excuse. problem, right? I was like, you know what? Got to keep my blood sugar at a certain level. Mm -hmm. Well, let's Bring just, it on, Slurpee. Let's assume it's nothing major. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, right. Let's just go with that. Right. My foot here, I'm wondering, you have, you hear, you have 20 million bones in your feet, you know? Like, uh, I just feel like one of them got broken. Oh, really? Because it hurts. But you're still able to walk, so I don't know, maybe. I walk on my heel because it's closer to the, my pinky oh, toe. Oh, and it's on the side. I'm going to get that pinky toe. Yeah, it's on the side. Front and, front and side. <laughs> right. Wow. And then, you know, just, just going to your house at like three. Uh-huh. And then going, driving to get the girls. Yeah. And doing all that. And going to your house and playing and watching them eat. Right. And hanging out. I was like exhausted. <laughs> and it was like three hours. I was like, no wonder she's fainting. Right. Like I would faint. Thanks. You know what I mean? And an hour of that, you were in the car sitting. Right. Right. And totally. Yeah. I know. And then it's like, um, you know, you're. I'm turning into like, you know, the, the parent in the sense of like Avery's like, I want to go in Chick-fil-A and play. I'm like, it's a germ tube. You're not playing in the germ tube. <laughs> you just exactly. got, well, there's kids that are sick. Half the kids at school are sick. Right. You're lucky we went in to get you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Chris and I weren't touching anything either. We were all, <laughs> All these kids start running right. up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Boogers yeah, hanging out their nose. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but I did appreciate it. And I know the girls liked it. So thank you. If you'd like to speculate what Kathy has, call 303-728-3420 or text. Well, the girls had told me, the, the doctors had told me I was low on vitamin D, low on iron. So I took all that yesterday. Uh-huh. So I should have been Oh, that explains the, the guy that was there. You're getting the vitamin D. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Blazing Hit Radio. Better music. Less commercials. More Larry and Kathy. Hey. Um, so basically there's the kind of investigation that's still going on. There was a officer that was killed in Thornton. Yeah. And um, our thoughts and prayers are going out to him and his family and, and the, all the police officers, the officers that are still searching for two other suspects. Yes. I know they arrested one person and uh, Wiggins, uh, he's still on his way here. His family and Kayla's family is, you know, officers in Thornton. You're right. And so I know that this hits home close to their home and what they do. And, you know, when there's an officer down, I know that really affects everybody. Right. The officer that was killed, his name is Heath Gum. He's 32 years old. Uh, his family, um, they're going to be setting up a web page for donations to help them out. But speaking of hitting close to home, 
it was r- my home was in the perimeter right. of Kathy, what was being blocked off last night in in Thornton, right. 88th and Washington. Kathy owns a home in Thornton. It was like your first home. It was my first home, right. right. And now uh, my nieces live in it. Right, right. Uh, she's a slumlord. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. Uh, so th- they were like literally... Very scary. Right, they came in you, the backyard. Yeah, so I get the message the, last the night. Police. Yeah, so we turn it on and we're watching it on Facebook and... I see the perimeter and I'm like, okay, there's this, my 7-Eleven. And I call, you know, like that was my 7-Eleven. I was, I was <laughs> right, OG at that 7-Eleven. Right, everybody knows you. Right. So I'm like, there's my 7-Eleven. There's my street, you know, cause I'm literally two blocks, two streets from 7-Eleven. Right. And so I'm like, okay, so the perimeter, they were focused more towards uh, 88th than they were 85th, which was, but still three, what is that? Three blocks? Come on. Right. So I'm watching it. I'm checking in with them. They said that uh, they went down in the basement. Cause right, you know, cause they you were know, telling people don't get by your windows, right. keep your doors locked. Because if people have guns and they're shooting and they want to take your house as their last refuge or a place to keep uh, somebody kidnapped. Yeah. Or the shooting happens out in the hostage. street and bullets just start right. flying. Oh, for sure. You don't want to be there. So they were down in the basement and stuff watching it on TV and they caught the one suspect. We all saw the, right. the video of that. Yeah. Here right. I got it. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a little bit of audio. Okay. That's producer Bolte. Right. With the movie. <laughs> News alert. Two violent attacks on law enforcement overnight in Denver. One man is in custody and two more on the run after a sheriff's deputy is shot and killed chasing an assault suspect. Dozens of mourners lining the streets with flags saluting the body of 32-year-old Heath Gum. The five-year veteran of the force leaves behind a wife. How sad that you, um, you're going to rescue somebody who's been assaulted mm-hmm. and then that's what you get. It's just like, you know, we know that there's... Um, uh, two feelings that, uh, about police officers, and you know, uh, you know, there's a couple bad apples that kind of ruin some people's thoughts about police officers. Right. But there's mostly good police officers. Absolutely. We're friends with them. Yep. We know them. We've always been friends with law enforcement, and so they're just regular people who put their lives on the line every day. And so it's just, I don't know, it's just super sad. It's very sad. So. Yeah, it's excuse like, me. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, so Jessica and Megan, my nieces who live in the house, right? They sent me pictures last night. Um, they can't, you know, a SWAT SWAT came in and was like, "We need, can you unlock? Because we have a lock up before you go into the back gate, right, to the backyard." And so they were like, "Can you unlock that?" So Jessica went out and lo- unlocked it, and she was like, "The canine was so cute." I was like, right. "That's not what you need to be thinking." Right, <laughs> right. you can't pet a service dog, much less one dog that's looking for a man. You know, right, that's working. Right, yeah, exactly. you don't. Want, yeah, you don't touch animals no while they're working. Right, right. So, <laughs> but, but they, yeah, they, they sent pictures and they were re- literally going through your backyard. Yeah, and they were all like swatted guns up. out. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's crazy because I, I got to thinking about when you said that that like you know they're going house to house or yard to yard. It's like who knows where those jerks are you know what i mean like yes they could go into somebody's house and just be like you answer the door and don't say anything you Mm -hmm. know i hope they catch them and and i'm sorry but that that neighborhood i mean it's unincorporated adams so there's not a lot of like hoa or anything happening so people have a lot of crap in their backyards and their garages old hiding places a lot of old hiding places a lot of old trees and so it's yeah. scary. Megan, my other niece, she got stopped at McDonald's because it's right off of Washington. Uh-huh. And they wouldn't let her go. Like, they put her in lockdown there at McDonald's. Oh, dang. Yeah. Cause just to keep everybody safe. Just to keep everybody safe. And they didn't want people sitting in their cars. They wanted them. So they made her get out of her car and get into McDonald's and wait. Well, as the sun comes up, hopefully they'll be exposed or they can find them better. Yes. Or, you know what I mean? Daylight always helps. But uh, again, our thoughts and prayers are going out to the officer, the to fallen Heath officer, Gum. yeah, and his family. And uh, we'll keep you posted as we know stuff. And we'll also give you information on the, the fun that's being set up for them. Yes. Blazing Hit Radio. Now with more, more us. us. They're just really funny. Better music. Less commercials. More Larry and Kathy. Um, I figure we can all use some good news. Right, right. That This is good news. Yes. So there is this to let everybody know that you can't give up on hope. Exactly. Things can happen at the last moment that can, you know, salvage a situation, a hopeless uh, situation. Right, exactly. And producer Bolte's filling in for right, Wigs. He's still on his way here. Um, it, I would say hopeless situation and homeless situation. Yeah, it is a homeless situation. Right. So a lady who is about to be homeless... Bought a $2 lottery ticket. And you know, people would be like, 
that's what you're going to waste your last $2 <laughs> on. There's that. No wonder you're homeless. There's that. Right. People are going to say that. But then. Then this happens. Yeah. Yeah. $2 lottery ticket and ended up winning 25000 a year for life. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. awesome. Right. That's so cool because she was like, what? Hey, right. right. What? You, you know, like you keep scratching. What? Right. Exactly. Now she's going to be that lady that's like. I spent my twenty five thousand already. Oh no, for sure, twenty five thousand right. isn't much, especially That's not a lot. the whole year. Right, for sure. Like if you had you a normal still need job, a job, that would yeah. be no, extra. No, for, that would be help. Absolutely, right. the cush you need. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, but now, well, maybe this helps her just get her, her feet underneath her so she can get that job. Right, mm -hmm. right. You like, still need a one bedroom, you... or you need to live in, with a roommate. Right, right, yeah. right. But you're going to always get your rent paid. Right, exactly. But right. cash flow like that, you can definitely use it to. Now I can get a better car. That it gets me to that job so I can make that check. We don't now know. I can get the clothes so I can fit in at that job so I can get that check. Right. We don't know her. She probably spent the 25 grand right away on heroin. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And now she, it's all gone and she's very itchy. Uh, well, she, she doesn't know where to stay. <laughs> Shauna Donnelly. She's like, when do I get that, um, that, that <laughs> 25,000? Uh, next year. They're like, and how many days is that? Right. <laughs> and you know, we take out taxes. What? Right, exactly. It's okay, January. so fine. Right. She gets 15000 a year. For sure. All right, so she's Shauna Donnelly. She's 50 years old, and she's been struggling. She's homeless in Michigan. Right there, that's struggling. <laughs> like, Michigan's cold. <laughs> right. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. Like, if you're going to be homeless, go to San Diego. No, no, no. Go actually, to Phoenix. Come to Denver. Right. No, <laughs> it gets cold They'll give you here. weed. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That helps. <laughs> no, Michigan is a good place to be homeless because there's a bunch of abandoned homes. So you just take one. True. Absolutely right. right. You, you got to get the coyotes out of it. Yes, this is right. right. <laughs> 40 miles northwest of Detroit is where she lives. Okay. Okay. So she's been taking care of her elderly mother full time. Things were so bad financially, she thought she might end up homeless. And last Sunday, she bought a two dollar lottery ticket and got twenty five grand a year for life. And threw her mother out. <laughs> no, oh damn! Check this out. She had the option to claim to do a lump sum. Okay. And so she did that. Oh, cool. Claimed her prize on Monday, lump sum of three hundred ninety thousand dollars, which is gone. <laughs> exactly yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, right. Totally. Her mother now right. is going to go on Medicaid, no. go somewhere. She won't even visit her. It's one of those people that's like, I bought a house, a boat, mm, I yeah. bought her a house, exactly, a couple cars. Somebody wanted to start a business, right? Exactly. She says she's going to use some of the money to put down a down payment on a house, buy a car, and the rest is going in the bank. Nope. Somebody's going to talk her into a bad business. Really. Yeah. For real. Right. And you could have, but you should do more than put some down on a house. Like in no, Detroit. No, no, put it all on You the could house. put it all on the house so you never have to worry about the roof over your head. Again, yeah. you have to get the coyotes out. True, and right. And then it all house. happens, right. And you got to go, I mean, purchasing new windows. Exactly. Right. You're going to spend a couple bucks. Yes. And then there's this. People getting screwed all because of their email address. A car insurance company gets caught. Giving higher rates to people with Hotmail email addresses. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Did you ever have a Hotmail email? No. No. Nope. Bolty? Never? Okay. So if your email address ends in at Hotmail.com. Oh, wait. I did have a Hotmail. Uh, did you? Yes. It, it's the same as my other. As your Yahoo. Right. Uh, oh, no, no. My Gmail. Gmail. And I don't want to say. Well, yeah, no, don't say it. Yeah, but it's the one that sounds like. Yeah, no, I get it. You know, hey, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> no, it does not sound like that. No, it doesn't. It's it's basically I can't give the whole thing. No, but it does say sat bra in it, <laughs> just like sat bra. Yeah, and that doesn't necessarily mean anything gay. It's just what you say to your friend, like sat bra. Totally gay. Everyone has that email that they don't like to give <laughs> out. Right, and it's like I've had it so long like, right. that I'm like, oh my god, like um. I, I have to give it up for like the important things. <laughs> yes. So I'll be on with the bank and they're like, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, <laughs> they always laugh. And I, I'm just, I'm like, thank God it wasn't worse. Like, yeah. right. Like because I like, I like taints. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> right. Some of them have that and you have to give that to, <laughs> yeah. the bank, like you said, the bank or whoever. Right. Do you right. have a stupid ad no, no, I, I I actually got to dodge that after laughing at everyone else's. And oh, okay. go, oh, right. Growing up, I was like, I'm not going to be that guy. Right. Try to make <laughs> it's like it as big normal. Big boy, 420. Oh, yeah. Big donger, 420. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got you, babe. Two, two. Yeah. Okay. So this this car insurance company is in England. Uh, they're called Admiral, and they just got caught giving higher rates to people with hotmail email email addresses. The Admiral because me, they because they think they're ghetto. Is that why? 
Yes. Okay. Admiral is defending the policy saying, yeah, we do do that. Okay. They say their research has shown that the kind of people who still use Hotmail <laughs> get into more accidents and can't cover their expenses more than people with modern email addresses. Okay, here's the thing. That's sort of true. That's like that whole documentary they did because um, it's the Walmart wow. thing. Yeah. So people that go to Walmart, they get in more trouble. There's like lots of murders in Walmart parking lots, right. robberies. Nothing good happens in a Walmart parking right. lot after midnight. That's a saying for a reason. Right. There's a whole documentary on it. Yes. Look it up. So yeah, that's kind of like the same correlation. Like Target, nothing's happening. Back. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? You still made it to your car. Right. Nobody Assumptions. offered to sell you tamales at Target. <laughs> that's right. Sad. No, actually, you're right. You never right. run into the burrito lady right. at Target. <laughs> Walmart, you can get crack. You yeah. Can get right. Yeah. Or One you know a joint. Fur. Right. Yeah. Something Legal laced with furs. something. Right. <laughs> Baby silk. Cologne. Oh, right. Yes. Don't forget the cologne. Imposter yeah. perfumes. <laughs> Blazing Hit Radio. Better music. Less commercials. More Larry and Kathy. Um, still, you know, our thoughts and prayers going out to the fallen officer in Thornton. Keith Gum. Yep. Yeah, and uh, 32 years old, man. Yeah, I know that's super sad, and it touches really close to home because uh, Wig, your family, uh, Kayla's family is in law enforcement. Yeah, well, they 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 work with Gum, and so they know him personally, they know him personally. at their kid's birthday party. Yeah, so it it really is something to where I mean, I've met him, so it's right. it's something to where you. It's cr- like I was telling Kathy, it's crazy when you know you could be in this situation, but you've never felt it personally. Maybe you've seen right. it on TV and yeah. you're emotionally drawn to it or impacted by it. But when it's actually someone that you know or it affects someone that you, you love, completely different thought process on and on how you approach it or how you think it or even trying to comprehend what's going on. Right. No, no, for sure. And we like Kathy and I were saying earlier, we're like. We've always had a great relationship with law enforcement working within broadcast community. Yeah. And there's been uh, situations where we got real close with law enforcement yeah. because the sister station had a um, Christmas thing where it was Christmas and cops. Yeah. And they were always in Toys the building. For tots or whatever. Uh, Christmas Crusade. Christmas Crusade. I got to know him from all my bar nights. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And so, like, we're always on, you know, close with law enforcement they're just like us they're regular people they just happen to put their life on the line every day you, we run from bad situations they run to, into right. into right. those situations sure. and so what was the origin original uh, reason, reason for all this well down. we we have uh, fox 31's reporting it so if you if you're just waking up here's a little breakdown of the terrible tragedy that happened yesterday police presence remains here this morning in the neighborhood near 88th and washington here in the city of thornton now this is where it all started this is where the original call came in and ultimately where the shots were fired now officers are still here this morning combing the scene looking for every piece of possible evidence we've seen them focusing on one house we've seen them in the front yard we've seen them go into backyards of some houses so now kathy they were actually in your old neighborhood well i mean this is really for you and i this is a block away from where this is our we, neighborhood this is the, <laughs> that was my 7-eleven i shopped at that walmart and they were actually in your Not a lot of people know this kathy owns that 7-eleven <laughs> now that she's doing so well hey she bought part of the neighborhood yeah. with as many slurpees as i've had at that 7-eleven i swear right. you should be but, vested in the company right so it was it was close to home for me because it literally my home was in the perimeter that was blocked wow. off wow. and my my nieces live in that house so they you know it's like they said go into the basement if you can and they sure did because you don't want any like stray bullets you don't know what's about to happen yeah, if they so find true. somebody well then, yeah, and then the, the, somebody could break in and hold you hostage totally so the SWAT and then the canine came to their house and was like we need to go in the backyard can you remove the lock and you know next thing you know did. her nieces are petting the belly of the dog I know just because like the treats. canine was so cute <laughs> I was like yeah well until he's you're working. a suspect he's working yeah, yeah he's, he's right. on duty right there you're lucky you smell like a girl <laughs> It's certainly an active investigation even this morning, several hours later. Now let's get you caught up on what happened last night. At about 7 o'clock Wednesday evening, Adams County Sheriff's deputies responded to an assault in progress on the 8700 block of Dawson Drive. Now several witnesses have told Fox 31 that a group of men was assaulting a woman. That information has not been confirmed by authorities. Now when deputies arrived, the suspects 
ran. While searching the area, deputies spotted a man that matched a description. That man then pulled out a handgun and shot at officers, hitting Deputy Gum in the chest. Now, that suspect was later found and arrested in the backyard of a home here in this neighborhood. Now, residents here were told to shelter in place for several hours last night. That shelter in place has been lifted, but several blocks remain closed off here in this neighborhood. Authorities continue to monitor the scene here early this morning. Now, we've seen folks that live in this neighborhood. They have been allowed back into their homes, but nobody else allowed past these crime scene tapes as they continue to gather evidence here this morning. So that's good. They got the guy that actually did the shooting, mm -hmm. and the, they need to catch, catch those other guys for the assault on the woman or whatever. Right. But, and where's the woman? I know, but it's like to well, me, a lot of that stuff they're not going oh, to yeah, reveal because yet. Because it, yeah. it hinders right. their investigation. Yeah. You're right. I mean, the fact that they got that guy makes me feel better. No, absolutely. Not that those other guys aren't desperate and still loose. But I mean, I need justice brought to that guy. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. And I hate that justice is so slow. Mm -hmm. Like you hear about these stories and then you hear years later, it's like, oh, he's still on a pill. Or whatever. You yeah, know. but they're they're at least locked up. They're not like no, even I know. as that process takes its its toll. No, or, I know. I just yeah. wish we had a quicker process that was in the middle of town. Yeah. Um like the old school, like you know, like I do in Iran. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, it's just I, it's, I mean for guys like that not for the reasons they do it I'm saying that I just I don't know I mean I, I hate that it, those people do get to live for a while and hang out I agree I mean? like they get to see their kids grow right you know, for they years get to, yeah kids get to still have somebody they hug right they like all of a sudden feel. Uh, right they assimilate to their weird yeah cell. they're there right, right. so they it's learn you know, how to make toilet wine when it, people are gone they're gone and that's the that's when you're robbed did right. you guys see the procession of of the cops because i mean you had douglas county you had the mm -hmm. denver pd you had of all the douglas county cops? Uh, well all the cops that came together last night oh, did no, you see that? that so they it were, was like crazy that they assembled so quickly and they had like um, hundreds flags up and well it was, the, the, it was a denver procession of cops uh I, I say all over the denver metro area from different jurisdictions they were lined up uh just waiting outside denver health for um officer deputy gum to uh to be taken to brighton uh coroner's office gotcha. and so it was amazing to see that those cops and the people even people from the the all around the, the city neighborhood were waiting in brighton for uh his arrival Aww. so it's 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 a terrible tragedy, but I think that there is greatness within the people of Colorado that the way these things have impacted us so frequently, sad enough to say, mm -hmm. but that we come together the way we do. Um, this is something that we're definitely going to want to get behind as far as like promoting if there's a GoFundMe for the family or something like that. They said they're, the family's putting a webpage together. There, right now. There's already one okay. up. Okay, it's, cool. uh, it, and let me give you the website of that so you can go to coloradopolicefoundation.org. Uh, there's a website set up right there. We'll throw it up on you guys' social media channels. Again, if you want to give uh, to that, coloradopolicefoundation.org is the website. Okay, cool. so we have some people commenting on the text line. The first one says, I have some friends that are deputies in Adams County Sheriff's. I'm still working on joining so I can be a deputy as well. Our first responders put their life on the line for people they don't even know and worse, people who will never appreciate it. Thank you guys for sending love to the law enforcement. There are definitely some blank cops out there, but blank or not, they have sworn to protect you in every way they can. That means putting their life on the line for you. God bless. Remember, there's more good than bad. Right. Like, I think if cops are going to accidentally shoot people, it should be the cops that shoot people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like in, and like if we had police policing the police just a little better to weed out those bad apples. But, you know, there's there's always going to be a factor. And, you know, for all the people that want to talk about law enforcement in a negative way, it's like somebody's breaking in your mom's house at one in the morning. Who are you going to call? Yeah. You want her to call the police. Yeah. yeah. Somebody comes and steals your car. You're going to go to the police and say, help me get my car. Right now, whether or not they are productive and can help you find your car after that is another thing, but you're, you want to know that hopefully you're going to end up getting somebody that can help. Right, right. And I think that even with people, I mean, officers go 
to work knowing how there's a stigma against them yeah, by people. Totally. And they still will wake up every day and do the same job, put on that uniform, put on that badge, and get out there, regardless of those few people that think that way towards them. And that's just a selfless act. If you're a good cop, you're going to be a white cop that goes into a black neighborhood, and you're going to break dance, and the video's going to go viral, and they're going <laughs> to yes. be like, cops are cool, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This one says, I was shot in a drive-by shooting January 5th, 1995. Dang. Okay. That was on 1955. Sorry, 1995. <laughs> it was a different time. Right, totally. You had to stand still for a long time for that bullet to hit you. <laughs> so it went through my poodle skirt. It shot me in the thigh. You're all loading it like those those guns where you put a bullet in there. Musketeer. musketeer yeah. That's way before that. It was so surreal, says the texter. When, ev- when help got to us, everything happened so fast, but the responders didn't hesitate, and they... And they did not know what was going on on the other end that somebody had been shot. I was their focus to help. Their job was not a joke. All I kept thinking is they're running to help me and they don't know if the suspect's still around. Probably similar to what was going on last night. I wanted to run from what was happening and they were running into the situation to help. I know there are bad cops out there, but for the most part, they all want to help. Wow, that's crazy. Every job has bad apples. Uh, every job. And it doesn't matter where you work. So, right. I mean... Like, I had a nice lady at the DMV a couple weeks ago. What? That, that totally busted a stereotype. Okay, that's a unicorn. <laughs> you, we need and to get her name. And she was fast. No, no, no. There she was, was proficient. There was some time, one time I was at the DMV and it was so embarrassing because everybody's waiting and it was definitely not my turn and the lady was like, uh, sir? And I was like, yeah? And she's like, can you come up here? I was like, yeah. She's like, I listen to you every morning. Ah. You are so awesome. <laughs> she what let you cut the line? Right. And everybody behind me was like, boo. You jerk. Who is this boo. guy? Boo. Boo. This guy. Boo. So to, as a make good, I got her like tickets to uh, Disney on Ice for her kid later. Like, you know. So for, you, like, you, you bribed her. You paid her. off a no, government she employee. she did it for me. <laughs> no, that's and what I'm that, hearing. It's called a he, thank you. He paid off a government it's employee, a so he you. skipped the uh, line. You guys know I do yeah. thank yous. Right. I do them, like, in a donut form. <laughs> I know some right. good cops, man. They're going to put you under arrest for that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of donuts, yesterday when you brought up Voodoo Donuts and the chocolate glaze, oh. I have yet to stop thinking about that okay, donut. Okay, Chris and I talked about that donut. I got to have one today. When we were going to pick up the girls yesterday, we were driving, and I go, Remember that donut yesterday? He goes, that was insane. He's like, it was like <laughs> the perfect donut. And I, I just can't even explain it. it. And it's their regular raised chocolate donut. And yeah. it is like, I would say that it's got like definitely like a great thickness. Oh, of yeah. Frosting. No, you sold and this. The dough. You sold and the us. dough. I can't Come on. Even. How hey, do look, they do it? Okay. Hey, we were talking about cops. Now we're talking about donuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like food porn for cops. Well, I yeah, thought that was the that, natural that transition into that. Yeah. <laughs> donuts. Donuts. Wait, wait, wait. So, I apologize. I, I've been off schedule and I came in late, but Kathy, you, you fell again. Oh, she yeah. fainted. Yeah. It is, is it because you it didn't is. have a black, a black donut? <laughs> <laughs> A black donor. She didn't have a black donor. Uh, that's all it is. You should have a black officer, right? Like a black guy. No, no, Everything blacked, would be cool. I said earlier, she, that's there was a black guy leaving. That's hilarious. I almost blacked leaving. out again. Yeah. Right. Oh, my God. Uh, a she blacked out donut. over a black guy. <laughs> yeah. um, I felt good yesterday. Nothing felt bad. And then all of a sudden, Larry and them showed up. I heard the garage door go up. I got up out of bed. Walked, just headed right to the stairs. Girl, and, this is my chance to get out of work. Yeah, <laughs> no, and no. I just blacked out coming down oh the stairs. Oh my she was god! Larry found me on the floor. On the floor. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Un- un- unconscious? No, no, no. I, she was laying on I the floor. I was coming too, and my foot is killing me. No, she was presenting. Oh yeah, and I brought she goes, yes. Larry. I've always wanted to. And Black so I like guy. went to, I, pu- I pulled in to help her up, and she pulled me in toward her. And then she wrapped her legs around me and started gyrating. Very uncomfortable. Look, at, we, what, look at what the snake has caught in her trap. She, so uh, if there was an HR department here, I would go there. Yeah. I think I'm our gonna, listeners are the HR department. They are. They're, they're, they're the ones right. who are, are going to define. Okay, Larry, She's you need to stay away from your her. husband. <laughs> now I want you again. Oh. Jamie, Jamie on the text line. Kathy fainted because she doesn't have her cheese sticks. Yeah. <laughs> she likes them fried. I she like likes cheese, cheese sticks. <laughs> and one more. Wiggins, you laugh like Bill Clinton. It's uh, all I hear. I know. It's awesome. Uh, uh, you know, it uh, makes uh, it seem uh, like uh, we're leaning uh, left. Uh, 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 you know, that was the first voice I ever tried to do. And I, I can't do voices, so it's not like the, it's the first and only voice I ever hey, tried to do. you know that. Yeah. Right. So maybe it just, it just held on to me. Just since stay then. with it. Yeah. Stay with it. I still it. want you to be able to do better.
bad voices. They make mine sound great. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just kidding. Hey, I've stayed off Christopher Walken. Yeah, thank you. Thank I you for doing appreciate that. that. <laughs> hey, it's good with me, buddy. Hey. Yeah. Christopher Walken, do you like Bill Clinton? Oh, I love Bill Clinton. He's so amazing. <laughs> just he's done so much for people in the community uh-huh. that you just love him. And he's I voted for him twice, and then the third time he didn't run. Uh, he got a stain on the dress. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah, couldn't man. run a third time. Uh, yeah. You couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. run a third time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tasha uh, says I need to go in and get seen today. I am going. Oh no, we're gonna well, go. Actually, uh, said she said my butt needs to go in and get seen today. It did hurt. Right, I mean, she that's did fall too, her butt. too false now that my butt has. I did her. a gold watch on my butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah, your butt needs to be seen yeah, too. Yeah, we did. Actually, I do. I farted yesterday. <laughs> okay, Larry, no, Larry was. Larry, Larry was like so freaked out. <laughs> Yesterday, <laughs> he did this story. Listen, he farted. Yeah, farted. He farted, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" I was like, "You're so gross," because it was definitely like rotten. But it had a it, chain on it that was chained to his ankle. A gold chain. It wouldn't it go anywhere. Chain. It stayed there. Just do a watch. For like an hour. You walk by him an hour later, you're like, that fart is still yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Yeah, so Everywhere do, he walked, the go fart was go. We can go to a proctologist <laughs> together, We're Kathy. not going together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check you both at the same yeah. time. Yeah, we know you will, Bill. Yes, that's right. Uh, <laughs> big fingers, sausage hands. Oh, my goodness. Um, speaking of sausage, shout out to Jimmy the Bush. Butcher, hey, up, I was like, "Where's that going?" I was like, <laughs> Speaking of sausage, want to give a shout out to my blackout. No, I, I, yesterday I called him Jimmy the Plumber, and he was like, "It's not a plumber. I'm a butcher. Sorry, I got the the job wrong." Jimmy the Butcher, I love you. Your family. Jimmy the mechanic. Yeah, Jimmy exactly the butcher. Right. Jimmy. Um, I, I I think this should be fun. We get on the computer, uh-huh. go to WebMD, uh-huh. and type in fainting spells, and this should be fun because this should make Kathy um, really freak totally, out. Because you know I'm dying. You never supposed Supposed to go to WebMD and type stuff in like this, right? <laughs> oh, so you are, you want me to read it to her? Yeah, yeah. So All like, right. say, um, tell I, me what I'm. I've been fainting recently. Yeah, and then it'll be like death. Uh, you have some sort of itis. <laughs> I'm sure it's like a. Um, you went too extreme by trying to get off sugar. Yeah, but then yesterday, That's what you're supposed to do, yesterday though. I added the sugar back in handsomely. I know, but you were still now thrown off. Your whole everything was thrown off. So in other words, when you drop the sugar. Your body was freaking out, yeah. And your sugar levels must have dropped. I'm no doctor. I'm guessing. By the way. <laughs> so your sugar levels dropped. You sound like, and a doctor. then you dropped. Yeah, uh-huh, so right. So then you're like, let me bring the sugar back, and then your body was like, too much sugar, <laughs> too much sugar, to fall down. It uh, all, yeah, there could be that. It's also you know the lack of sleep. Right, it's, it's having two yeah, kids. Right, I watched them. The Chris and I did nothing with them for three hours. We just hung out. Half of it was in the car, and I was exhausted when we left your house. I don't know why. <laughs> I used to say, I don't know how you do it. Now I don't know why you do it. <laughs> no lie. That is it. Oh, my like, God. Like, when I see other parents, I say the same. <laughs> and then they want to have another one. I'm like, why? Now I know why mom, the whole joke of mom's drinking wine mm-hmm. is a thing. Yes, you know because I mean? mama's got to go in. She's got to right. do something. Right. Take the edge off of this. For Man, sure. black donut. I'm about to explode. Right. Yep. Kathy's going to be so on the edge that if you're a football player anywhere near her <laughs> it's on <laughs> okay i'll be able to smell you <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't even have to be pro team at this point right fainting is also called uh syncope uh, is the sudden brief loss of consciousness and posture caused by decreased blood flow to the brain okay. just like those little goats Oh, like the fainting goats? Those are my favorite. They that make the sound me you make before you fall? Yeah. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, many different conditions can cause fainting. These include heart problems, such as ir- irregular heartbeats, seizures, low blood pressure, sugar, hypoglycemia, um, anemia, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a deficiency in health oxygen carrying cells, uh, and problems with how the nervous system, the body's system of nerves, regulates blood pressure. Some types of fainting uh, seem to run in the families. While fainting may indicate 
a particular medical condition. Yeah. Sometimes it may occur in in otherwise healthy individuals. So you could be healthy. Okay, Kathy. Good, yay! I'm healthy. Fainting? Or not. No, yeah. no, I think I'm going to keep reading. <laughs> keep reading because at some point it's going to be like, uh, if you may have a bunch of candy bars lately, it could mean that you're going to you have fainting sugar disease, the, uh, f- and there's no cure for that. Fainting is a particular problem for the elderly <laughs> who may suffer serious injuries from falls when they faint. Oh my Most- God! If, uh, if you're super old, that's what kills you. Yeah, falling. Falling because right. they're like. It's almost like the the thought process is you're never going to be able to recover from all these breaks. Like we could put you in a body cast and your brain, your bones aren't going to heal. Yeah, exactly. So it's like it sucks. Yeah, it's kind of like. And then if you don't stop. have, if your hip can't get re, like surgery on it because right. you're too old, then you end up sitting, and then sitting can and easily right. kill you. Right, and then yeah, for sure, yeah. it's crazy. Most episodes are very brief. In most cases, the individual who has fainted regains complete consciousness within just a few minutes. It's like if somebody Seconds. stepped on a bird, you'd be like, "Ooh," <laughs> and if the bird's still alive. <laughs> oh my you're like, god! You're like, you, we can't really fix. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're saying you want to break my neck? No, no, I'm saying for the old people. <laughs> that That's when you step on a bird. Oh, yes, like old people's go. bones breaking. I'm so sorry. It's like a bird. And you're like, oh, but although I saw this thing on BuzzFeed, it's really weird. Um, this person found this butterfly. Okay. And it, its wings had been like torn off half of them. Oh, no. And then it found like a dead butterfly's wing. And it literally painstakingly like glued the wing of the dead butterfly back onto the injured butterfly. Okay. And it flew away. Who gl- painstakingly uh, glued it? Some butterfly saver. Expert. I don't know. Wow, that's crazy. It was also just like an oxygen machine, and it was uh, right exactly. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, they said it didn't hurt the butterfly because they don't have. <laughs> they said they don't have feelings in their wings. Mm-hmm. But I was like, tell that to the butterfly who's like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we right. just can't hear it. It's and then, so- what did he use? Did he actually do surgery? Or did he just put gorilla no, he, glue? No, no, he used like surgical glue or because that gorilla sort. glue can really right now <laughs> it's all just flying in one circle. <laughs> right, yeah. right. It's like <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the the uh, what you can do if this if this fainting happens is the fainting treatments. Uh-huh. Uh, call nine one one if the person <laughs> she doesn't want to pay that. <laughs> yeah. that what money. if you have? You know what we should invent what seven one one. What's that? It's cheaper than nine one one. It's the one that goes straight to Uber. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Uh, call nine one one if the person has blue lips on the face, an irregular heart or slow heartbeat, okay. chest pains. Because that means they had a stroke or something. It's not difficulty yeah. breathing. Well, I should, when I found you on the ground, I should have jumped and taken your heart rate. <laughs> no. Oh, this is this is when people are going to accidentally call for you, Kathy. Acts confused. Now, <laughs> if they're acting confused, you you got to call. But see, I wasn't. Remember, that's immediately I started yelling out the chicks' names at the hair salon. I was like, right, saw- Nicole, Tegan, Ergun, Pembe. You know, like I knew their names. The Tin hardest man. names imaginable, too. Right? Yeah, yeah. Tin Man, Line, <laughs> Scarecrow. You were there too. Uh, and you were there, and you were there. Make this is the the next set of treatments. If you don't have to call nine one, make the person feel safe. Lay that person flat on his or her back. <laughs> Elevate the person's legs. To oh my God. Wiggins, can you faint? <laughs> no, Larry. Elevate the person's legs to restore blood. I didn't even get through the sentence, Yo, for God's right. sake. He's already imagining yeah. you I'll laying wear a down. Condom. Yeah, I, okay. You'd lift my legs and I'll go... Ah. Anyway. Like, yeah. like, no doubt. Yeah, dude, like, up, anything like what happened yesterday, protector. it's really true. You're like a skunk. Like People right. can't get too close Nobody's to you. Nobody's getting too close to you. <laughs> right, he doesn't like to be hugged or he'll... <laughs> Elevate the person's legs to restore blood flow to the brain. Loosen tight clothing. Okay. Okay, if I if you insist. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Larry didn't do any of that last I, night. <laughs> I couldn't get the jeans off. I had to cut them off. <laughs> yeah, that was the last thing he was thinking about. <laughs> hey, wait. Keep all this in mind. I want you to print that uh-huh. so when I get some, when I ask Wiggins, does this smell like chloroform? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so wait, we're back to elevate the legs. There's some more steps. Okay, so you elevate the legs, loosen tight clothing. Number two. Make uh, love to the person <laughs> until they regain consciousness. No, no. That's what it says. No. No, it Uh-oh. doesn't. It does kind of. Oh, it, it okay. says, no, it doesn't. It says, tr- <laughs> it says try to revive the person. Shake uh, I the know person, how. Shake the person vigorously. T- uh, tap, <laughs> t- tap briskly or yell. <laughs> tap. It said tap. Yeah. And yeah, okay, I like Bris- it. Briskly. <laughs> briskly. That. It's all you might want to smack their ass. You better pray that I'm the one that finds you passed out, Wiggins, because I'm just going to shake you vigorously. Wake up! Nope, Wake up! You won't be able to get him alive. I'm I'm the one that's like, bring in the cart. Uh, 
If the person doesn't respond, call 911 immediately and start CPR if necessary. Okay. Uh, if an AED is available, that must be one of those shock oh, units. Yeah, things. defibrillators. Yeah, uh, it's available. Bring it by to the person and use it if it's if you've been trained on it. Oh, only. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, but you know what? They, they now tell you what to do. Yeah. Like it talks to you. Clear. <laughs> yeah. And no. everybody, everybody, they, you see what they do in, in the movies where they rub them together and you're not really supposed to do that. Oh, right, because then you're going to be like, um, that's old school, but yeah, the new ones, it will, it will be like, take off the tape and so I'll do this place on chest. Yeah. That's clear true. area. I'm cool with that. Right. Do home care for simply fainting, for simple fainting. Uh, if the person is alert, give fruit juice, especially if that person is not eaten in more than six hours. Right. So See? I did that for Kathy. I ran and got some, um, <laughs> Prune juice, and then she ran to the bathroom. I don't feel well. <laughs> so diarrhea is in there somewhere. Oh my god! Larry, did you stay with Kathy until uh, she was fully recovered? Yes. Um. Yes, I helped her up, and she then had hurt her foot because she had missed a couple steps. Totally. And so now we had two issues: why are you fainting, and now your foot is all jacked up? Yeah, like it, I think is it possible to have broken something in my foot? It's not my toes or my heel; it's somewhere in the top you know, part I of think my it foot. Was. I think we should. I did that. Oh, Go no, ahead. I think what it really was is Kathy is so overwhelmed with having two kids uh-huh. and two jobs. Right. And so overwhelmed, she's like, if I throw myself down these <laughs> stairs, maybe I'll break my foot and Larry and Chris will off. take the kids. That's what I was saying. Right. I was like, she did it on purpose. I'm going to get a day off. <laughs> um, yeah! The problem with the- I've had it off! <laughs> And she had done her research, so she knew that the the hospital guys at the, at that time there was a really couple good looking black guys that work at that hospital. Right. I mean, if I'm going in, I might as well. She's make calling my them before. Is uh, Darrell right. working it's today? Okay. So WebMD says raise my leg. Okay, he's Mr. Johnson. Get on okay. top of me. Revive you don't me. Call him Darrell. Revive. Um, yeah. If uh, it, it, if you've hit your head, oh, these are the this is when you need to go see a doctor. Oh, it says yeah. if you've hit your head when fainting, which you did, I did faints more than once. In, uh, in a month, which That's you did. Okay. Uh, if you're pregnant or has a heart I'm not, condition. I know for a fact I'm not. Or other serious Stop. illness. We've only done the back door. No, that's oh. not it. <laughs> Do you experience unusual symptoms such as chest pain, shortness of breath, confusion, blurred vision, or difficulty talking? Uh, you, no. Are you kidding? <laughs> she can talk all day. But difficulty. Check that off. Talking. Oh, yes. That's well, you've always had difficulty right, talking. Exactly. Even with, when I'm sober. But, but, you, I, <laughs> but you first and broadcast nonetheless. Oh, exactly. my goodness. Be you. And someone will like it. <laughs> all right. So you're going, you're going to the doctor today. Yeah, I'm going to the doctor today. All right. Yeah. That's all, that's so all I, I need. I feel like I need to follow her there. But I do want to know about the foot. Like, can this be broken? No, I've, I've, I hurt my foot at the wedding and you, and so it's still a sore and there's nothing you can do for a broke that's foot that's what i thought yeah right. you're just, I'm you're just as well. oh it's a toe that you can't fix yeah you know the foot, foot you can't do anything either unless it's the ankle i no, don't know we'll, we'll web empty that <laughs> next wait you're looking a little faint 303-728-3420 no larry yeah, you're not you. elevating my oh, legs God. no blazing hit radio better music less commercials more larry and kathy all right so uh you know, we have a pretty huge staff here at uh, Blaze Knit Radio. <laughs> yes. We have uh, yes. two floors in our building. Yep, we have we our do. first floor, which yep. has us right now, which is uh, the four of us. It's Kathy, myself, Wiggins, and uh, Producer Bolt. Right. And then on the second floor, we have our administra- uh, administrative offices. Yeah. We have uh, Aldo is up there. Uh-huh. And, and that is it. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and, that's and, it. and it's also the bathroom and I, the kitchen. Right. The washer and, and dryer. And the sitting area. It's where we all live. We all live together. <laughs> and then we come in down here and do this show. And then we go up and hide upstairs like we're Anne Frank's family. We're all, oh, yes. Shh. Yes. Okay, he's already playing the music. This is about an unsolved mystery. <laughs> it's about the missing autograph of Carrie Underwood and some missing towels. <laughs> yes. I already a, know. I already got a suspect in mind. Yes, we have me? a suspect well, in mind. There's a lot of us here. We're going to have to go through it. You know, to systematically. see who would steal the Carrie Underwood autograph and who would take the towels. Right, who took the towels. Okay. Yes, so... So go back to... Uh, the year is 2016. <laughs> Beauty Production sets up a, a room <laughs> and a business with the Green Solution. Yes. And they get a location on Spear Boulevard. Uh-huh. Headed by Larry Uliberry, Wiggins... 
And at the time, a guy named Aldo. Uh huh. They started a relationship and an uncensored podcast. Yes. Then that blossomed into a radio station called Blazing Hit. And that's how Kathy became part of the team. Hello, and- you guys. <laughs> Anybody home? Uh, <laughs> so what, what nice towels you have. Right? <laughs> well, I the will The group say of this. individuals started a radio show that had been on traditional radio but went digital. Then the next thing they knew that Larry and Kathy were decorating a business. You decorated, and anything you touch is perfect. Like, you have just... You know how to decorate. I have gay taste. You, and you also remember where you put everything. He has because gay taste. He has <laughs> gay taste. I would like Wiggins and I to talk alone like this in a room. <laughs> um, with a but little also, chloroform. There's a washer and dryer up there. And there were times because that Wiggins... Because Kathy's was- a dirty girl. <laughs> and this is a place where she sees men on the side. There, there were times where Yo, you had what's to up, take a girl? shower. Weren't you working out, Wiggins? So you'd come back and take a shower. Yeah, and those towels and up there. When- right, and you had towels. There, there were towels up there. And that's when Wiggins discovered a very small camera in the corner of the shower where Larry was watching. And I stopped working out and taking showers. What a a coincidence. Larry thought, what a beautiful body. Very robust and curvy. (laughs) He was hoping I would pass out. Okay, so Um, you're there watching Wiggins in the shower. That's when Larry released the chloroform but accidentally went to Kathy. And that's when Kathy fainted. You're, you're, that's, that's, I fainted. You're getting off story. <laughs> you're getting off story. Okay. Okay. okay so so uh, yes. anyway, so I had, uh, we, we have all over the studio, like famous people that we've met. But one more time, there's five of us here. There's a very large staff at Blazing Hit Radio. <laughs> Hundreds and thousands of employees. Yeah, right. Who did it? Who stole the Gary Underwood autograph? All right, so... All over the building, we, I mean, the uh, the two stories. Yes. We have, uh, you know, our people that we've met. Autographs. Autographs. Lady right. Gaga, um, Drake, Drake, Jennifer right. Lopez, everybody. whoever. It does, yeah, right, right. tons yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Right. And so, Kevin Hart, we right, have right. everybody. And so, Carrie Underwood, I really like that one up there because it balances all the black rappers. Yeah. Like, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I got some Jessica Simpson, some Iggy Azalea. It's the Lady one white Gaga. girl with a bunch of black guys. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Lady Gaga's in there. She's white. Iggy Azalea's white. Right. Jessica Simpson's wife. Right. Plus, it's a it's a cool frame and it's right. a smaller. It's, it's right, like right. A, it's a CD cover that she autographed. Right? right for me. Okay. So then, uh, I came in this morning and <laughs> there was the picture of the. Well, no, start with okay, the. Okay. Okay. There was start a, with the the. Oh, okay. So a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we we have like a when I was decorating this place, I got us towels. Yes, like body like, towels. Right. I went I, like not just we, hand we towels. We went all out. Like I must have spent like probably. You Ten spent, grand. You spent a lot. Yeah, to get everything that we needed here. And I was like, we should have towels there in case we ever shower. And I got little shampoos and little soaps. And yes. I was like living it up at Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> I was like, I got this. <laughs> so then I just Larry got, bought a bunch of stuff yes, from Bed Bath, Bath & Beyond. At, at Bed Bath & Beyond, <laughs> blowing his money on an unset future. <laughs> um, so, okay, so wait. Uh, so then uh, I got the towel. So the other day I came in and I was like, huh. Those towels are gone. Mm-hmm. So I was like, that's weird. So then, And they yeah. were nice towels. Right. They're right. good towels. So then we were like, well, there's only a handful of people right. who could have taken the towels. So I asked Wiggins. <laughs> right. So you kind of was like, take, you take the towels? Right. And you and were like, Wiggins no. And denied taking the towels. Right. So, I have an update on this. So, really? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so we let that go and it was like. I was like, whatever. I was like, clearly somebody needed some towels. Right. Obviously, I wasn't going to hate because I love is everybody here. <laughs> right. So I don't care. Well, it, it, Wiggins he, doesn't shower, so he doesn't right. need the towels. Right. So then um, I came in and I saw. This morning. Yeah, the autograph. Well, first of all, the, the guy that we did the uh, improv with. Greg Proops. Yeah, Greg, Greg Proops or whatever his name is. He had an autograph signed for us. And it was now hung on a wall that I didn't hang it there. And so I was like, and a gay man knows how right. he decorated and right. where and he so hung I, stuff, and where I would have hung that, or how I would have hung that. So I saw it's like replacing was, evidence, yeah, right. Right. Cover, so like a cover up, right. evidence. Uh-huh. So right away, the gay guy noticed that picture wasn't in a good place, <laughs> and who hung it? <laughs> this is and so I saw it, and I was like, that doesn't belong there, hung like that. So then I was like, meh. So then, uh, I ca- that was yesterday. Yeah. Uh-huh. So then today I came in this morning and I saw that that picture was gone. 
and the nail was still there. And I was all, that's weird. So then when I went to exit that room, I saw that it was replacing where the Carrie Underwood Ah, autograph was. Right. And so I had put that up right there, and I was like, well, that's weird. And thus, the mystery of who stole the Carrie Underwood autograph. Yeah, but who, okay. Someone stole Carrie Underwood's autograph. Everybody was a suspect. And there's only five of us here. Let's not let anybody off the hook. But who is a fan of Carrie Underwood? The one suspect that works upstairs <laughs> goes by the code name of Nana. Yes. yes, his name is Nana. But Nana... Nana is an old man dressed as a young lady <laughs> and goes to the park to catch rapists. Nana most likely has her own Carrie Underwood autograph. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but, yeah, but oh, wait, wait, wait. here's Carrie the thing. Underwood. He's also the same guy who had... Four Thriller albums yeah, when he bought right, four and albums. Four, right. four. He no, always no, no. had he has, multiple. He has like uh, yeah. ten no, no, of the Madonna sure. books. Right. right, right. And so, like, I don't want to. Like, it's so weird because I really. The reason we call him Nana is because he kind of like he takes care of everything. Right, and he's kind of like he talks in old lady terms in the sense of. Oh, these kids today. <laughs> right. And he says things like, this has too much salt in it. This, These napkins are crap. Like, mm-hmm. they, in my day, they made napkins that lasted. Right. These straws are made of, you know, whatever. Right. So he, we call him Nana. So then I'm thinking about Nana, like, did, did Nana take the Carrie Underwood p- p- picture? And did he take the towels? So I'm sitting there thinking in my head if that's a possibility. And I got the exact same feeling that I got when I was a kid. And I used to play... There was a time, a period of my life where I'd play rummy with my grandma yeah. all the time. I played rummy with my grandma. Right. And we were like tight. That was our thing. Uh-huh. And we bonded over rummy while we ate Doritos. And, and that was our thing. <laughs> Mine was ice cream and okay. rummy. Yeah. So then I realized one day Larry realized that his grandmother was cheating. <gasps> what? Right. And so I was like kind of laughed to myself going... This bitch is cheating. <laughs> right. Grandma. Right. And I was like, right. And so then I had the whereabouts in my head to go... Let it go- glide. Yeah, right, right. This is her thing. Let it go. Right, let right. It go. So I, just, I didn't call her out on it, but I felt a certain way like, really? <laughs> You're cheating. Right. And, you know, and she would do moves like uh, you knew she couldn't do. Like she would take the pile and you're like, you you had we were supposed to have two other tens. Okay. I don't see any tens. Gotcha. Oh no, it was a five. Oh, was it though? Right. Okay. Right. So you're like, okay. Well, so that's you got fine. that exact same, same feeling. Same feeling. When, when if it turns out that Nana took the Carrie Underwood picture, it's a huge betrayal from someone's Nana. <laughs> from someone you love. <laughs> from the hierarchy of the family. Well, okay. So I have my update. Okay. Good. I can't so wait. So the towels, Kathy, you had mentioned that you. You had brought up the towels to me, yes. right? So, Aldo, when you guys leave, Aldo and I always just talk. Right. It's, it's just like the old it's days. A, go- it's an old lady sewing circle. <laughs> they sit around and gossip yep. and talk about the day's events <laughs> and complain about things. Right. The quality of napkins. <laughs> the quality and of napkins. the amount of salt right. in today's diet. Your busy day. Right. Yeah. So... We we because we would always catch up on things that need to get done. Well, now it, 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 we, I don't talk to him as much as I did because I'm usually out of here like ten thirty eleven. So you asked that Kathy, yes, and then you left, and then Larry, you had to leave too, and so you left, and so all of a sudden, because being the way he is, he always like tries to throw you off, right? You right. Know? Oh no, what right. he does is what he does is like he'll come in like at 10 ish uh-huh. but he wants to make it seem like he came in at nine thirty. So like, he put his stuff down, and then he'll be like. Oh, I've, I've been, been here. here. But, I, but I will Which say this. been in my car. He was coming at nine. No, no. Right, For right. sure. And, and now, right. The, the beauty part of all of this is she doesn't listen to the show. <laughs> no, I know. not have any idea There's what only five we're of saying. Us. Okay, okay. So, so it's not like what, we're going to offend him. He doesn't listen. No. What's the update? So you asked, There's when you when you asked that question, he was in his office about the oh. towels. So the towels, he overheard that. Me say it. So he must have been like, oh, they're on to me. <laughs> No, because the towels didn't come back. No, well, they're not going to. So he. Oh, he's okay. not going to. There was a more to this story than Wiggins was letting on. Stay tuned so, for the wrap up oh of God. who took the towels so, and who took the 
Carrie How Underwood do you know? autograph. How do you know they're not going to Just because I know him. the same person. I know okay, him. So what did he so do? So then he says. You don't want to do this he, as a trial? He, he goes, oh, you want to come back? Right, I was going to really? say, stay tuned to find Ew. out what Wiggins knows about the towel. You can just say it. Oh, I can say it. <laughs> That's called a tease. Yeah. Although somebody yeah. on the on the text line is saying, you better investigate your cleaning lady. That's Nana. <laughs> That's yeah. Nana. Nana is the cleaning lady. And then, because I was going to be like, who has keys to the building? Yeah. Who has access to the <laughs> alarm code? Who was it? So he tells me. <laughs> who likes Carrie Underwood so much they would steal an autograph? Yeah. I, I don't I think Bolte wouldn't steal a Carrie yeah. Underwood yeah. autograph. There's he other dating ones. dating a yeah. blonde girl yeah. who loved Carrie yeah. Ivy. I mean, love Carrie Ivy. Carrie Underwood. Ivy? Who is that? <laughs> Carrie Ivy is a personal friend of mine. I don't know why I said that. Oh, my so, God. I love her. Aldo Carrie says, Ivy. Nana says to me after Kathy asked that about the towels, uh-huh. you missed goodbye. Oh, so the towels are in the washer. And I'm like, what? I was like, <laughs> I didn't even ask about the towels. I don't even know. I like for me, I was like, why the hell is everyone talking about the towels? I was like, what? Is right, you're not guilty. You like, don't care. Yeah, I don't care. So I, like, I couldn't put. I couldn't even process it because I heard you guys talking about towels, and I was like, what? What is going on here? So then when he asked me about the towels, I was like, what? I was right. like, and then right now this conversation is like. Oh. oh, the towels are missing. Later in the parking garage, they would discover a broken Carrie Underwood autograph wrapped in a towel <laughs> in the trash. <laughs> Who did it? Uh. So the text line, oh, Nana would never participate in such craziness. <laughs> I remember going to Payway with you guys and Aldo going on and on and on about how much he loved their napkins. <laughs> so... Here's the thing. Listen, I, they do have great napkins. They do have great napkins. They have great wait. napkins. Okay, so let me say this. Okay, put, play the music again. Uh, okay, here oh, we go. Okay. Mm. All right, here we go. We want you. We want you guys to chime in. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So, who took the Gary Underwood autograph and who took the towels? Was it Wiggins, producer Bolt, Kathy J, Larry, or Aldo? <laughs> Send us your shout outs now if you have a lead on this story. 303 728 3420. Operators are standing by to find out who did this heinous thing to Larry. Okay, but the towels were never in the washing machine. No, that's true. The towels never came back. <laughs> he was only washing the hand towels. Right. The bath right. towels are gone. Right. All right, we'll find out when we come back okay. right after Should this. Should we call Nana and find out? Yes. No. Yes. Let's call Nana. yes. If you want us to call Nana right now, call 303-728-3420 or text us now. Operators are standing by on Unsolved Mysteries. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the text lines are blowing up. Right, what, what people want to see of the missing un- a Carrie Underwood autograph? People are missing towel. The text line three zero three seven two eight three four twenty. Text call or give us a shout out. For Sounds the app. better with the intro music. It, oh, you want the intro music? Yes. Again? Okay. okay, we need the unsolved mysteries intro right, because, music. You know, we deserve to find out. You yep. know, after putting in so much effort into building this business, people are talking. What happened to the Carrie Underwood autograph? And the missing towels. It really depends where it is. You may no, need... no, no. That's oh, about me. And that's my, about my you. Foot. Oh, oh. <laughs> way to go, Wiggins. Way to read. I was that. like, I was like, it depends where it is. I was like, well, that's the whole point of why it's so where solved. Where is the picture? So, um, okay, so I'll says, start reading. Call, okay, go ahead. One. Okay, this one says producer Bolty took her picture and used the towels to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense because Larry went up su- upstairs with a black light and it looked like Avatar. <laughs> oh. This one says, Call Nana. Call Nana. It's Nana. We have to call Nana, but she has an old rotary phone <laughs> and we don't know if she'll pick up. Molly says, Call Nana. You're so close to the truth. Okay, yes, that's funny. That's what we're seeking the truth. And then. On the, pic- the missing picture. Someone said, Could it be? No. Never. Aldo, a liar? Never. Here's what's awesome is so many of the listeners uh, have come to these events, have won prizes from us, so they've met Aldo. Everybody meets Aldo. When I first started in radio, he was called Aldo the Prize Guy, and everybody knew who he was. He would would also give you uh, free stuff when you came to get your free stuff. Yeah. He would add a little extra. Yeah, but he cares about people. He's a good guy. He's best friends with the ladies who lease us this space because he goes gets coffee and takes them movie passes. Yeah, for sure. Everybody loves Aldo, so why would Aldo still? Yes. 
I don't want to call. Yes, we're calling. Oh, oh no, we're, we're oh, going to call on. him. Yeah, let's let's call this him right now. This is our Nana. If we get God seven sake. more yeah. likes on the post, yeah. Yeah. we'll <laughs> call him. <Nana. laughs> no, we have to solve this mystery. So let's let's call him right now. Okay, Here. before we do that, let's, one number. more time, Wiggins, you're sure you didn't take take either of those items? No, I mean Here's I carry the word. And didn't, I didn't do it. Yeah, and I'm, I, I racked my brains. I was like, I even went through my towels at home. It's like, maybe I took the towels. Oh, God. Maybe I was absent minded. I don't want to call. You know what? I, okay. No, no, no. It's fine. And the, the thing is, in. sometimes, like, you know, back in the day, you would find out, like, oh, our housekeeper has been stealing everything from us. No. And you have to confront her. You're like, Maria. Okay, right. it's, ringing, like, <laughs> it's ringing. It's ringing. Hold on. Oh, God. Hello? Aldo. Hello? Aldo, this is Robert yeah. Stack from Unsolved Mysteries, and we have a couple questions for you. Aldo. Yes. Uh, we have some questions. Hi, Aldo. Before Hi, we Joe. get into this, I just want you to know I'm not, I don't approve of this. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> then I'm hanging up no, now. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm Larry. Um, this is Wiggins and Kathy. Hi. Uh, your coworkers. And uh, um, we've been, four days. I, I came in and uh, the Carrie Underwood yeah. autograph was missing. And yeah. so I blamed Bolte because I know his girlfriend loves country music. And so I oh, almost no. let him go. And then all of a sudden he was like, oh, no, it wasn't me. And then I was like, and I was really pissed because I love that autograph. So I was kind of mad at Bolte. And then, oh, well, don't be mad because I have it in my possession with a couple others that I'm trying to redo the frame. Because uh, if you remember, hers didn't have the proper frame in it. It uh, cut off her signature. Oh. See, Larry? It was something really simple. Well, it was. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was wig then immediately after because I was like, I the know frame that was Kayla broken. loves Carrie Underwood. Yeah. And so no, I was so like, I put the other, I put the proof there too, just so it didn't look like a hole in the wall, let's say. But anyway. So, okay. you, were, so you weren't covering it up, trying to not make it obvious that you, you might have taken that? Oh, no, uh-uh. I, I have enough. I have plenty of Carrie signatures. Remember, I used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I told said. you he's got a lot of Carrie Underwood. See, I told you guys. Well, I was thinking the worst. I thought by now, okay, Nana's cleaned us out. She's probably emptied all the accounts. She's probably the <laughs> oh, person yes. who took yeah. the towels. I don't know for the, as far as I can trust Nana. I mean, I like this. Like yeah. told them this is like when I found out that my Nana, my real grandma, was cheating at Rummy, and I was like, oh my god, I feel <laughs> it's betrayed. heartbreaking. Right. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, have Nana, you do you know where the big towels afternoon? are? <laughs> and Nana, I would also add that I said that we could talk about anything because you wouldn't hear it because you don't listen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, where, what, what about the towels? Um, the towels, I was cleaning them, and I have them all folded. So, once we, I guess... Whatever, See? yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, See, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Once we, Kathy was the one. She was like, "All the death they took the towels because they say were that. good quality." You know, and me. he loves good no. quality. She's the only one I, in the bathroom ever. No, so. that's true. Right. But I was going to take the towels if anybody was taking. Kathy towels. was using the towels well, yeah. as toilet paper. <laughs> that's I know I took those. Yeah, everything's getting less and less. Uh, well, fine. thank you, Nana. We appreciate the phone call. You're in the clear to come to work. Oh, you my won't gosh. be arrested. Oh yes. You got to. Are you bringing? When are you bringing Carrie back? Um, I'm just getting a frame for it. Like I want to get. A I like the frame, frame it's her. in. It's, what was a cool, it? it's in a cool black. Yeah, frame. but it, it kind of cuts off her autograph. I don't think it looks right, and it's been bugging me because it just sits there facing wow. me every day. Wow! How bad do you, you feel? feel Larry? Yeah. How do, bad do you feel, Kathy? How making bad? Aldo feel I, like a suspect. I, I, wow! That's <laughs> messed I'm up. I'm removing myself. I yeah, knew, Kathy's, I knew. Hey, Kathy's quitting. She feels so uncomfortable <laughs> about accusing you of this. <laughs> Kathy's I, removing herself. I didn't accuse you of anything, Nana. Kathy said. Yeah. Said, Aldo has twenty million Kathy Carrie said, Underwood autographs. Out, she wanted me to fill out a police report. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> well, did you see? Like I even, like I told you, I replaced those um, other ones that had glass, and we put the plax, uh, plastic. No, yeah, we saw uh, that you were so, covering up what you were doing. Well, yeah, that's what Wiggins said. Cover up. <laughs> no, that's not it. You guys are no killing covered me. up where the yeah, picture it's was. It's a big yes. cover up. <laughs> All right, thank you, Doe. We'll see you when you get here. And thus, oh the my gosh! All right, bye. <laughs> Okay. Underwood autograph. <laughs> Underwood autograph. <laughs> and the towels. It's another one episode solved. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for calling our hotline. You'll receive twenty five dollars if well, you helped. Well, now we don't have a show because that was the only unsolved mystery that we had. Sure. So we have another oh, unsolved okay. mystery. What the hell just came out of Wiggins' ass? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, we have some lingering issues on this case. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's not fully <laughs> solved. It's update. Right, yeah, okay. unsolved mystery update. All right. Larry still has questions because the picture of Carrie Underwood fit in the frame perfectly. It, her autograph went to the edge because that's where she signed it. I'm believing Aldo. Right, but also, uh, why would the towels need to be taken away to be washed when there's a washer and dryer right in the building, uh, right okay. next to the bathroom? So he used them for something and was washing them and bringing them back. Sex. He used them for sex <laughs> okay. with the stranger he met on Grinder. Uh, I can say that because he doesn't listen. <laughs> so he met somebody on Grinder and they went and threw the towels and had sex and wiped up their sex. <laughs> and if you put a black light on it, it's Avatar two, three, and four. Yeah. Well, then you can keep those towels, right? <laughs> uh, so he definitely did it. He did. He definitely well, he did, did it. it. Well, he, I know, he did it, but the, the he motivation. He was a quick talker. He was a quick talker. He yeah, but there's holes fine. in his story. It made sense there to were me. Holes now in he's his like, story. we're going to bring the dumb towels back. He and hates carry everyone. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, he's, he's, all, he's all, that's exactly what he thinks. He's all, oh, now they know. So now I'm going to bring it back and be like, you guys were wrong. Right. Right. Exactly. Okay. But, but now he's like, I have to get a frame for it, though. Right. And now just, he's going to be like getting out of the shower with a really bad towel that he hates. Okay, I just want to say to everyone that's coming to see us tonight at our happy hour. You'll and, be able to meet Aldo. And, and don't you dare say a word. No, and don't. Re- point at him. No. And talk about him from the, across the bar. Nobody and bring say, it he's up. the guy. Nobody bring it up oh, when no, you bring meet Aldo up. tonight at the if happy hour. If you mention that Aldo stole the autograph and the towels, you'll get a discount on your appetizer. Are you kidding me? No, I don't know. I mean, we can do that. <laughs> yeah. But no, we're, you're just going to be like, oh, nice to meet you, Aldo. You're the one that cares a lot about that crew and makes sure that their autographs are looking good. Larry Uliberry will commit to buying everybody a drink who brings a towel and a picture of Carrie Underwood <laughs> to, to Aldo. That's right. Larry will uh, buy you a drink. Oh you bring God. Aldo a towel <laughs> yeah. and a picture of Carrie Underwood. Yeah. No, oh, just save your money. And, in a frame. No, just save your money and buy yourself your own drink. <laughs> oh, my God. But the happy hour is tonight. So if you don't know what that is, um, we have our own YOLO Rum, Larry and Kathy J drink. They were hanging out for a few hours today at the Alamo, and you can come hang out with them and say what's up. Right. Uh, Wiggins, um, he doesn't usually come because it's a happy hour. Yes. <laughs> it's, so not, it's, it's not like, a negative right, hour. He's, and yeah, he's not happy. Yeah. Right. He goes to dick hour. Yeah. Um, That's but, my favorite hour. I'm all like, you well, always use this bitch and complain. 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but hour. He, me, and, me and Anna are in the office just bitching and complaining. We have our own happy hour at 10 a.m. <laughs> Maybe Wiggins and Aldo were using the towels. Uh, yeah. Um, are you yeah. going to come to tonight? Uh, I think you should. Going to try. Yeah. Depending on what happens. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so uh, but if you need more info, uh, we. That was a polite way of saying he's not coming. <laughs> 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 well, we have Yellow Rum uh, crews coming there. Because hey, so if the Yellow Rum crew is coming, you're coming. Well, I kind of have to because we're, we're filming something there. And uh-huh. I, I think I was supposed to tell you guys I might have forgot. So there you go. You're getting filmed today. By the Yellow Rum crew, so be ready for that. The Why big reason mean? everybody's coming is to meet Aldo, the towel <laughs> yeah. stiller. I didn't see him. Carrie, um, Wonder- Carrie Underwood obsessed fan. We, we are <laughs> filming for Yellow Rum because uh, now that, Kathy, you're, we're actually having a huge article that's being released and picked up by Yahoo Finance and Business Insider because we are announcing that Kathy is becoming an official after owner in all, Yellow Rum. After all these years, she wore Larry down. <laughs> she did. I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of it. Yes. Right. It sure does taste she good. I want to be a part of broadcast. it. Yes. So, and his rum. So what? Well, and his love life. Here's what's funny. <laughs> she stole his husband. Larry, Larry's like, okay, I'll let you be an owner. And then he's like, but we're gonna let everyone else be an owner too. So, I know. They, so we started yellowrum.com slash invest, which is allowing other people to become a part owner of, or not an owner, but they get to invest and be a part of this company. Kathy and I have pretty much shared everything. In fact, I can't think of anything we haven't shared. Okay, a lot. Clothes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, until I do drag like you, but... <laughs> Saliva. Saliva, yeah. Indirectly, We've... probably. Yeah. I mean, like, um. she did date my husband. No, okay, but that... Oh, oh it, yeah, it was, you did. It was gone a long time ago. No, like, this still hangs around. Remnants, it still hangs nothing around. Nothing hanging around. So... And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And we... Uh, we shared wig. No. No, we didn't no, do that no one either. Did that oh, all. that was just me? No, oh, that sorry. was not even used. You need to quit putting that out there. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I thought we both had some of that. No, no, no. just Kathy. No! <laughs> <laughs> My husband's listening. Yeah, exactly. yeah, no, that never happened. <laughs> that would be really weird. Like, even if uh, that could not work, because I just would not be able to like hang out with either of you. I'd look at either of you, it'd be normal. No, because we yeah. both come in and be like, 
I'm tickle fighting with him. No, you're tickle. I'm tickle oh, fighting God. with him. All right. Well, maybe it would have been. It would have. Blo- it would have torn us apart. Torn us apart. Yeah. So we just. We. You know. We. We held back on our desires. Right, and then the oh, first- so you desired me. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, no, no, no. You did. You thought he was no, adorable. Uh, cute is one thing. I know, but desiring was- it. No, I'm I'm out of that race. We were with Wig his whole twenty prime time years. We were like, yeah, sweet. Now it's my smelly, funky butthole years. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> hey, you're not our problem. You're yeah, married. Yeah, I'm married now. Yeah, it's, it's my wife and my kids problem exactly. now. Exactly. That's all that is. Poor so, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Call or text us now. I'm so excited. On the Yolo Rum phone line. Alexa, will you be my friend? Of course we can be friends. 303-728-3420. You seem very nice. So we're waking up this morning uh, to just another tragedy in Colorado um, with the the shooting of Deputy uh, Heathcum uh, yesterday and the passing uh, of him because just some jerks in in Thornton area, man. Right, they were assaulting a woman, and when confronted, they shot at the cops, and now we have a dead officer, and it's just super sad because their job is to go help. Yes, Mm. and we have suspects on the run still. Exactly, two of them. They caught the guy who actually shot... But the other two guys that were also assaulting the woman got away, and they're... And oh. thank God they got the one, because right. now now at least you, you will get the names and find of out the other, the other two who's right. involved, in, and now it's just a matter of finding them. And, and, and where's the lady? Like uh, yeah, the, no yes. Clue, but they might. I mean, you have your family is our officers. So yes, they, they actually like, they were, probably know all that information, but they're not releasing it. My my right. family I actually uh, served side by side with with Gum, and so uh, my sister in law actually had to do uh, the press conference yesterday, and mm-hmm. so we love her. We she, love Amanda. Amanda. Yeah, she, she's so sweet, and uh, she also. Sounds just like Kayla. It's yeah. so crazy. Yeah, for real. And way. I can totally see Kayla in her. <laughs> right, right, for yeah. sure. Yeah, totally. Well, and then my family lives in a house that's right by literally there. in the perimeter that they blocked off. So the SWAT went through the yard last night. And then today, Jessica was saying that they still have the helicopters going all over and mm-hmm. parts are like blocked off and they're stopping a lot of cars. Right, right, right. Yeah. And it's like the, 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 there was pictures the girls had, uh, your nieces that live there, of the, them going through the, the dogs. canines and all that stuff. And and that was the thing that was surreal was watching uh, my sister-in-law give that because it, it happens so regularly, these shootings, yeah. especially in Colorado, that you, you – I don't want to say you become numb to it, but you do kind of have a, a feeling where – that stinks, but it didn't happen to me. And when it does and it hits so close to home, it puts it in a whole different perspective. Yeah. The problem is there's so often and so – like like you can be sad for a moment about one thing and then the next thing happens. It's mm-hmm. like, gosh. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean you had the deputy uh, who passed uh, uh, Parrish uh, from Douglas County. That happened just literally a few days or a few weeks ago. Right. And then now this one – but if you want to help, if you're able to help, a lot of people lined up uh, yesterday as they uh, brought gum into the Brighton facility. Yeah, and, that was amazing. And so, um, but if you want to give back, there's a foundation set up that's called Col- Colorado Police Foundation dot org. Uh, you, you're able to donate there, and it's all set up for uh, Deputy Gum. And uh, the, there's actually sc- several schools that are being closed today in Adams County uh, because of uh, this. Because I mean, that whole area, Kathy, right by your house, you have right. Thorn High School, Bowman. Tech, is over there, Thorn Middle School. McElwain's Thorn- right behind my house. Oh, see, right. McElwain's right there. Yeah. So Adams 12 uh, closed these schools, the Early Childhood Education Center, the Bowman Technical Education Center, Thornton Elementary School, the International School at Thornton Middle. Uh, I didn't know they changed that name, but that's the International School at Thornton Middle. Wow, they Thor- sound fancy now. Right. Right. Like, <laughs> we we charge when more. Wiggins went there. Yeah. Yeah. My, mine, they had the barbed wire, so you could not... <laughs> the barbed wire that went over the fences when you walked outside yeah. locked you in. It wasn't to prevent people right. from jumping like over it. Wire. It was jail barbed wire locking that's that, crazy. that kind of like... It, we always hey, walk out... You learned. Yeah, I learned. I learned. Uh, and you went to Bowman too, didn't you? I love. I have to. I don't want to get off topic, but I do love the Bowman. I need to give them a shout out because I learned video production from Bowman. Oh yeah, that's I would cool. not be on the career path and where I am without that school. So I have to give uh, some love to them. But uh, Meadow Community School, Monterey Community School, North Valley School uh, for young adults, Welby Community School, York International. These are all schools. Coronado Hills Elementary and McElwain uh, are all closed today as they look so, for these two other suspects. So in other words, they might think that they're still in the area just being on the Scary, low low, right? right? Yeah. Although you would think, like you said before, that maybe they caught a ride or, yeah. or they've been running for so long they're way past that. Right, right, right. 
Maybe yeah, you want to think that they're gone, but then that has it make everybody else feel another. No, 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 for sure. But I mean, like Wig said, hopefully this guy's going to just have to give him Spill up. Spill the beans and, and right. let him know. Right, right. I mean, and it's like, you if, you're, a, if you're those two other guys, you're like, hey, we'll take the heat for assaulting that girl, but we didn't shoot the cop. That's what I would say. I mean, if I were those guys, because right. assaulting a cop, I would come shooting forward. a cop, killing a cop. I would be like, yeah, that wasn't me. Right, I, hope, but, I hope my brother-in-law, because he is a beastly man, I hope he's the one interrogating because he will, he will get it out of that guy. I guarantee you that. <laughs> He's good at his job, and so they at Adams County Sheriff. They are all uh, amazing at what they do. I, but they're I, also all mourning because you know once one fallen officer, they all feel it. You know, mm-hmm. I've no met I've met at. Deputy Gum, right. and so I mean it's crazy when it strikes so close to home. So if you want to donate, you can do that right now. Uh, Colorado uh, Police Foundation dot org is where you can do that. On the text line, I went to Thornton Middle School too. Wig. Everyone would always make fun of us for the barbed wire, saying it looked like inmates on their recess. Okay, that. <laughs> So they they would it's lock. Like, what do those kids do to be right. in there? Wow, they would kids. lock the. So so this is right around when Columbine happened, and so they would. They, everything was on lockdown. So, they, so so you would come out of lunch, and when you came in, the door behind you would lock. So you could not get inside if the door was locked. Okay. And so when you went, got outside, the entire area was cha- was a chain link fence, and then there was locks on the fence. So once you Damn. were outside, you were you were outside. You weren't going anywhere. He's a uh, he got used to the German shepherds. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the the bar the barbed wire is supposed to go at that that weird like seventy degree eighty sixty degree angle it's supposed to go on the face the outside not yeah, face yeah, no, the it's inside supposed it's supposed to prevent, prevent people, people from, from jumping in, in. Yeah. It, it was faced to prevent us from getting out so we right. in middle like school, these are the worst of the worst yeah in middle right. school we would go out there and we'd be like huh so if there was something that would happen here we can't run inside we can't run uh right. through the fence right we're what kind of do? just screwed fire trap, the, fire trap, yeah. fire trap, fire i went trap. to north glen middle and north glen middle was cool but across the way on 112th was northeast middle school okay and they that's where your husband went okay larry and uh that so you school, and chris were at rival schools yeah, for but, a second uh-huh. middle schools but the, and that school looked like a prison converted into like, I didn't see the barbed wire and yeah. stuff, but just the way it looked yeah. in the middle of that Same neighborhood, it looked middle. like it was some sort yep. of jail. Um, that sounds like that would have been around the time where Chris was more nose than anything else. <laughs> right, no, totally. Right, Chris had a big nose when he was little, and then he grew into it. Yeah, huh. Right. right, now he's a handsome man. Right, at first you were thinking, where's this headed? <laughs> I've seen his kid pics. <laughs> yeah, I go to Northeast. Right. <laughs> um, so, Kathy uh, had another fainting spell, and so some people have been... You hurt your foot this time. You actually had a fainting spell the second one when Larry was coming over to your house yesterday. Yeah, she's yesterday. being all dramatic. She fell into my arms, and she was just like, oh, Larry. <laughs> my I hero. Did, I fell, and my mm. foot is still hurting. It's hard to walk on Yeah. It. Right. But I can walk on it if I put the pressure on my heel, because it's, it's somewhere on the top of my foot by my pinky. You know what? We should use that topical... Um, from I did. P- oh, okay. I did. did I did. Help? Slathered it up, okay. yeah. No, it, slathered it up. Slathered it up. The uh, the weed bomb. It's only going to help so much if it's really hurt. Yeah. You know? So we got uh, some shout outs. Uh, the, the- Kathy's using this as an excuse, by the way, to not wear high heels today. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm totally going to wear these tennis shoes. <laughs> okay. So she does have to leave early today, though. So, so we might have to replay the show here coming at nine. So if you hear a little repeat, just just know that yes. she might have to take off a little early. But before she goes, we have a shout out here that is saying uh, what your problem is, Kathy. Hey, uh, Kathy, what you need to do is take B12 and yellow dock for being immune. And your iron levels are low, so they will need to go back up. Did I don't. I don't know if I trust her. Did she say Yolo Dark? <laughs> that's what. Yeah, I, that's what I like heard. Yolo Dark. Yeah. Hold on. So with, All right. Rewind rum. that really fast. But I know about my iron. That came back from my blood work yesterday hey, uh, on the Kathy, show. Kathy, what you need to do is take B12 and yellow dock. Yolo, Yolo Doc. Doc. Yolo Doc. And Yellow Doc. I heard Yolo. Yolo Dark. Just drink some Yellow yeah, Dark. You know what? Yellow Dark gold. is my favorite. Yeah, Yellow Gold. You'll totally. be okay. I love to mix it with um, everything. And Wrong. then Thanks. this this is I I don't want to play it just because we already had we already called Nana, but we asked for a shout out. And I don't know if this person's at a doctor's office or what, but they I just had to play it just because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no, I think you must. Hmm. 
have no idea what they're. <laughs> it's Yoda. <laughs> yeah, I know it's Yoda. I don't I'm know. What they're, you think they're you the must. I think they were in a doctor's office. Oh, Sound okay. like they're in an episode of ER. Or something. Right, right. So we did call Nana, and we found out that he is a thief. No, and, no, no. He had we found out excuse. that Nana is a great liar. He yeah. took the towels because he was washing them at home. As opposed to the brand new dryer here that never gets used. And that has pods and yes. it has a he, fabric software. And he he took the Carrie Underwood photo because he didn't like where the autograph was situated and he was getting a new frame. Which I really like the frame it's in. <laughs> yeah. But whatever. Hey, everything got answered today. We didn't have to carry over. Right. And you know? after this, I'm going to the doctor, so I'll get that answer. Exactly, because we got to find out why you're fainting. So hopefully by tonight when we all go to bed, we're going to have those two suspects caught. We're going to know more about the story. Everybody's going to be safe again in Thornton, and your family's going to be safe on law enforcement. And I'll know why I'm fainting and if my foot's broken. Right. And then there's a new mystery, an unsolved mystery. What? Okay, so here it is. Oh, Jesus. If something's wrong with Kathy J, what will happen to Mr. Efficient and the girls? Will they be raised by the strange man that Mr. Efficient met on the eclipse? <laughs> Will they be raised by Moon one of, children. Right, by one of the girls that's residing in Kathy's house now uh-huh. in Thornton. Right. Or will Aldo marry Mr. Efficient and raise the girls <laughs> I it was and indeed. sell the Carrie Underwood picture <laughs> and b- use the towels after the girls go slip and slide? I thought it was going to be Larry and Chris will adopt the girls, oh, but now yeah, we'll my husband's him. marrying Aldo. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. God. Larry doesn't Find want that responsibility. Tomorrow. Larry just I, wants to hang out with him. Lonnie? Okay, we like Lonnie. Uh, Lonnie will go on to play gay Superman. <laughs> He's also gay Clark Kent. Is and he and same a person? great singer yeah, too. Totally. You gotta. He's right. very Imagine Superman that can reach a falsetto. He's <laughs> in the octave of A. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is him. Uh, All right. Well, you know what? A lot of unsolved mysteries. Yes, Hopefully, find we... out what happens when Kathy goes. Hopefully, we wrap it with a bow by happy hour. Yes. Yeah. So come and hang out with us. Yes. Alamo Draft House, Sloan's Lake today from four to six. We'll be drinking. This is your last chance to meet Kathy before she perishes <laughs> from a weird <laughs> disorder. Don't mm-hmm. talk like fainting that. Fainting goat disease. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fainting goat. I love <laughs> the pain. She's yeah. also pooping pellets. No, I'm not. Bloop. <laughs> Bloop. Ah. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. So, Kathy. Yeah. So I'm taking iron. Yeah, take some iron. Don't pass taking out anymore. My, yes. And then um, I'm gonna have to take a multiple. Would, here's my question: Would Larry? Centrum silver. Would Larry? Who is? <laughs> no, who does get the children? Oh, God forbid, son. The worst case scenario happens. Is it Larry? No, and Chris? no. In, in the will, it says that we have to paper rock scissors with the Whitcombs um, for the girls. <laughs> Larry would just be like, "All right, you, you're gonna do rock. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do scissors. You, you win. You win this. Um, it, I, between, but I'll be there every other weekend. It's actually a split between Larry and Chris and my best friend Becky. Becca, because oh, I know okay. that Becca would take her take him back to my hometown in New York. She would keep the traditions of white trash alive for him. <laughs> um, I'll move back there too if you need me to, because I, I actually do want to move there. No way, with Kathy, and it's, it's this little town, right? Yeah, right. And I figure, oh my God, we'll be the number one morning show there instantly. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll have word will travel fast through the grocery store. Right, exactly. We'll be like. Uh, Scott, uh, we're uh, got a traffic delay on the road. Uh, <laughs> on Marble's Route 28. Cart rolled over. You know what? I think Aldo hey, does Kathy listen. Hey, Kathy J hanging out here for <laughs> Adirondack News. We're at the Barking Spider. Going to be here till 6. Come on down. Right. This Celebrity Trash and Bash brought to you by Mabel's Pies. Yeah. Mabel's Pies on Main Street. The best yeah. ones in Warrensburg. Right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, I think Aldo must have heard us this morning because I think he came in early today. No way. I just heard him open up the door. That oh. means everybody duck. Yeah. Okay, I'm going out this door. <laughs> I'm going out, I'm going door. out this door. I'm down here. Oh my gosh. Oh hey, my God. again, if you want to donate, go to ColoradoPoliceFoundation.org to help out uh, Deputy Gum, who unfortunately passed away yesterday.